Hello and welcome to our presentation. My name is Jan, and in this session, I'm going to tell you about the concept of geopositioned 3D areas of interest, also known as 3D AOIs, and its applications for driver gaze analysis. First, I'm going to explain what motivated us to come up with 3D AOIs. Then, I'm going to define 3D AOIs, followed by the questions we try to answer. Next, the study setup used to test our concept is explained. Later, some of our results are visualized and discussed. And at the end, the conclusion of our work will be summarized and possible future steps are shown. Let's start. In my field of work, we try to improve the performance of advanced driver assistance systems, or ADAS, by adapting them to the driver's needs and capabilities. To achieve that, we treat the driver as a source of information. This way of thinking leads to the question, which information can we extract from a driver that our sources cannot provide? The answer is observation behavior and eye tracking data. Because the majority of driving accidents occur in urban areas due to human perception error, we try to find a way to be able to identify a lack of visual attention or observation with a small sensor set which would be available in the future. This meant it had to be object independent, a surround object tracking in an adequate form would most likely not be available in the next few years. The new European New Car Assessment Programs protocol implemented in 2019 and the new EU regulation regarding driver monitoring will lead to the integration of driver monitoring cameras into production cars in the near future. The solution we came up with is 3D AOIs, as they only require GPS and eye tracking to be used. Now that I have explained our motivation, let's define what exactly geopositioned 3D areas of interest are. 3D AOIs, in their essence, are boxes defined by two opposing points. In this, they are similar to bounding boxes. Where they differ is the coordinate system in which the two opposing points are defined and their correlation to the world. While bounding boxes are usually defined in relation to the vehicle, 3D AOIs are defined in fixed world coordinates, for example, GPS. This means they cannot move. Furthermore, 3D AOIs do not need an object to exist. They can be object independent and represent more abstract concepts like waiting areas or intersection areas. They also differ from traditional AOIs, as these are usually defined as pixel coordinates on a screen or as flat 2.5D areas with fixed positions. To determine whether our solution provide a scientific benefit and be usable in the intended way, we came up with the following research questions. First, are 3D AOIs compatible with traditional glance metrics? Second, are there similar glance patterns for different scenarios? And third, are there distinguishable differences in glance metrics for different scenarios? To answer these questions, we conducted a driving simulator study. As you can see, the simulator is equipped with three screens providing 245 degrees times 39 degrees of coverage of the field of view. And additionally, it has a working mirror setup, which equates to a virtual surround view setup. For more information on the participants or the simulator, please refer to the paper or ask me uh, after this presentation. In order to achieve a realistic environment, the intersection used for our scenarios is modeled after a real-world intersection. We choose to use a complex urban intersection as it is the environment with the highest potential for human error. The participants had to perform three driving tasks, turning left over the intersection, driving straight over the intersection, and turning right over the intersection. We recorded vehicle position, 
eye tracking data, for example, head position, gaze origin, and gaze direction, and vehicle inputs like steering wheel angle and pedal pressure. For gaze analysis, we defined 3D AOIs in portent positions in the intersection. You can see pedestrian waiting areas in green, crosswalks or road connections in blue, and traffic lights in red. To analyze the gaze behavior, we calculated the minimum dwell time in seconds, maximum dwell time in seconds, mean dwell time, total dwell time, glance frequency, and glance percentage for each AOI. Let me show you some of the results. The figures visible right now visualize the average maximum dwell time in seconds over all participants as an object-dependent birth view heat map. In other words, longer dwell times equate darker AOIs. The average maximum dwell time in seconds over all participants shows significant differences between the driving scenarios the AOIs with the longest maximum dwell times correspond to the driving task or direction, but this can also be seen as a similarity between the scenarios, because the AOIs at the respective intersection entrance and exit are looked at more than the other AOIs. The same observation can be made for the average mean dwell time as the mean observation duration shows a similar pattern to the maximum observation duration, it can be assumed that the maximum observation duration is caused by an overall longer average observation duration for these OIs and not one long single event. In conclusion, as shown before, participants interact with the anticipated 3D AOIs. This makes it possible to visualize the viewing behavior and analyze the results. Additionally, the pattern found in the glance behavior show potential for driver intention prediction. All of this means 3 AOIs could be used to improve the performance of advanced driver assistance systems and to develop new types of ADAS systems. Our next step should be detection of driver distraction from gaze 3D AOI intersections and driver intention prediction from gaze 3D AOI intersections. Additionally, the automated 3D AOI generation from gaze or map data and identification of distractions from gaze generated 3D AOIs would be interesting.